Clemson's graveyard guarantees that you'll never forget the team's biggest wins. Over the last decade, the Tigers have had their share of memorable victories, and the school has found a way to make sure those wins are forever etched into history the graveyard. Those that have been to Death Valley have likely also seen the graveyard, which on the surface just looks like a plain old cemetery. But those gravestones don't belong to people, rather teams that have fallen at the hands of the Clemson Tigers. The graveyard was initially built in 1989 to serve as a monument to rank teams that Clemson beat on the road. After taking down the Seminoles at FSU's Doak Campbell Stadium, head coach Danny Ford had a headstone built outside of Clemson's practice facility, and the Seminoles became the graveyard's first officially recognized victims. The graveyard is all fun and games to Clemson fans, but it has certainly drawn the ire of their opponents. But with Clemson seemingly tuning out of the complaints and showing an unwillingness to remove the tradition, we're likely to see even more victims added to the graveyard with each passing year.